Hey, Cal Kellogg here, and I'm coming at you with another video podcast from my backyard studio. A lot of times it's hard to film these things out on the water. It's a lot easier for me to set up my gear, get out here in my backyard where I can just talk and show you some rigging and talk about techniques. So here we go. This year I've been running Brad's mini cut plugs and their larger lures, but primarily the mini cut plugs so far this year. I've been running them a lot. And... Uh, one of the things you'll notice, here's one out of the package, there's a lot of setback between the hooks, this is a kokanee version, between the hooks and the back of the lure. And uh, that, that's important, that helps you hook more fish and it helps the fish be hooked more securely when you do get one. So as you can see, for the kokanee, they're running the double octopus hooks behind a series of, of uh, four millimeter beads. Now, I also run these for trout, and when I run them for trout, I rig them up a little bit different. Um, I still have several beads, but instead of using the brightly colored beads, I'm using kind of metallic, shiny, baitfish colored beads. And this is more or less a shad pattern bait. And what I've got that tipped with is a single treble hook, not an octopus, just a single treble. And you can see there that hook is about a half inch behind the bait. So when a trout comes, comes nipping at the back of that bait, he's getting hooked. Those are my standard riggings. Treble for trout, double hook up, uh, double hook rig for kokanee or kings, but that's kind of just uh, scratching the surface on these Brad Brad's plugs. They're they're very innovative because you can mess around with them, you can tweak them, um, you can rig them in different ways. And let me show you a couple real sleeper rigs that I've been using for kokanee when the bite is a little bit tough. I've got all my stuff laid out here, so let me let me grab a couple examples of what I'm talking about. One of the baits I've been using a great deal is a Brad's Kokanee Cut Plug running a long setback with a white glow hoochie. And the hoochie is rigged up with a, a standard double hook Kokanee style leader. And I'll tip that back hook with a piece or two of shoe peg corn. How I've got this rigged on the Brad's plug though, I've got the leader, I've got the leader going through the plug it's like you would, you would rig it ordinarily. But right here, I have a small swivel, and I actually have the rubber band that keeps the, uh, the plug closed over the leader. So I've got a, a small swivel on the back, and then a short leader leading to the hoochie. Now the distance here, you can vary it. That's probably about six, seven inches. That's pretty standard for me. You can run it longer, you can run it shorter. But in this case, the plug is kind of really acting as the attractor. It's putting out those vibrations, it's drawing in the fish, and you've got a, a vibrating hoochie back here tipped with corn. That's what the fish are gonna zero in and strike at. So this has proven to be a very effective rig on days when the bite slows down mid-morning or when the, when the fish are a little bit off. Caught a lot of fish on this this year. It's really effective. Now, if the fishing is extra tough, I like to run my Brad's bead bug rig, and yes, I named that myself. Here it is. We've got a Brad's kokanee cut plug here, and I've got it rigged up the same way as that one I just showed you with a hoochie. It's got the leader going through it, coming to a swivel with a short leader. But on the back of this leader, all I have on it is a single hook and one red bead. That's it. Now I'll put a piece of corn on there and uh, run that at about one mile an hour and man that is just dynamite. The, the Brad's bait attracts the fish, it catches their eye, but uh, if they're a little bit off the, off the bite, that single bead, and you can use any color bead you want. You can use a glow bead, a pink bead, whatever, whatever you think the situation calls for, and a single piece of corn. That's a non-intimidating, very compact bait. The brads pulls them in. The bead, bug, and corn closes the deal. Next time you're out on the water, the going gets tough. Break out your brads and do a little experimenting and uh, I think you'll be pleased with the results. Plus, you know, we're big kids. We all love rigging gear, playing with gear, and these brads baits, they're just ripe for that sort of thing. You can uh, you can do a bunch of different things with them. Anyhow, this is Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. Catch me on my next video podcast when we'll talk about more fishing techniques. Catch you later.